doing the first health update slash personal information type video in a really long time. I don't think I've ever done like a health update, health update thing, but I'm going to now. Um, so there's been a lot of things going on with my health here lately and I haven't been talking about it because I don't really post anything personal like that anymore. But, um, first of all, I'm falling apart. I am completely falling apart. My hair is so thin. I've got PCOS, first of all. My hair is so thin. I almost, I feel like I can't go without a wig anymore. Um, I just see nothing but scalp and it's just, it's really embarrassing and I feel like it's really noticeable. Josh says he doesn't really see any difference. Uh, ugh, so I wear these. I mean, I love wigs. There's like a shadow here. It keeps looking like it's my hair, but it's not. Um, but, uh, he doesn't really see anything bad or wrong, but I, it's noticeable to me and it makes me feel really self-conscious. And I took a little video. I'm going to see if I can put it here. That kind of shows what my real hair looks like. So aside from that, um, I'm having a lot of problems, girl problems. I might've mentioned it in another video or just on Facebook, but, um, my pain levels and my bleeding are so off the charts now. Um, when it's that time of the month, um, I cannot walk. I can't talk. I can't, I can barely breathe. I'm in so much pain. Um, I mean, I, take pills upon pills upon pills and nothing really does it. Hot water doesn't help. Nothing helps. And my bleeding is heavier. It's worse. It's, it's horrible. It's really, really bad. So I've started the process of getting checked out to see what's going on. So my blisters are so big. You can see them jutting out of my underwear. Look at that. They're solid. And I've already popped blisters earlier today. I think I popped that one right there. And so these are new. With that, what's wrong with me? And if there's any way I can get any kind of relief from this pain, I'll get back into that in a moment. Aside from that, I'm also having problems with my teeth. So you might notice or have noticed, see like this, it's like some people are very gummy and I'm like the opposite. Um, because of my diabetes, my gums, my mouth is like not doing too good. And um, I've already had my wisdom teeth all taken out about a year ago, maybe two years ago. And then I had a broken tooth here from where I had a root canal in New Zealand and that cracked. Um, I had another tooth with a root canal and that's cracked in half and it's just shards at the moment. So I'm actually going to go in a couple days and get that pulled out, which sucks because I'm systematically like losing my teeth, but also my gums are receding. So I have a lisp now because 
I don't have a lot of gum up on the inside of my mouth and there's nothing for my tongue to kind of hit as I'm talking. So there's like that kind of sound because there's just nothing there anymore. All right here, top and bottom, but more the bottom, all my roots are exposed. My gums have just disintegrated to the point where you can see the tooth where the tooth ends and the root. I'll probably put a picture here if I'm not too embarrassed. So I don't know how they're going to fix that. What they want to start with is a deep clean. So if they can do a deep clean, they can work on rebuilding it up, I guess. But I don't have the money for a deep clean and deep cleans are not covered by insurance, any kind of insurance um, that I've come across. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I feel like I'm going to lose all these teeth. They also say, and this is probably why my jaw looks the way it does, but they say that I've also got a lot of bone loss here. I've lost a lot of bone density. Um, it's just my whole jaw, bone, teeth, all that. It, it, it's all fucked. And, um, yeah, you can see like, I've hardly got any gums holding my teeth in now. And my teeth used to be super, super solid, strong, white, straight. And now as I'm losing more gum, uh, it's crooked. Uh, there's nothing holding my teeth in and my teeth are starting to shift and I'm if you guys remember God like 15 years ago or something I posted uh, on DeviantArt back when I had my DeviantArt up that I was in New Zealand and they didn't have the toothpaste I used and all the toothpaste I didn't feel like it was working and my teeth were starting to feel bleh. and somebody actually was super sweet and sent me some uh, some of the toothpaste that I use and that was the start of it and like it's been the biggest fear of my life to lose my hair and to lose my teeth nowadays I can always buy wigs but walking around the house in front of my husband I don't want to walk around with a big old shiny bald head either um, and there's nothing I could do with my teeth like if I lose my teeth I, I don't even know I know there's people everywhere that are missing teeth but like dentures and things like that are so expensive and especially if I've got bone loss. I don't even know if my jaw would even hold it. Um, nobody else, the dentists and stuff don't seem to think it's as serious as I feel like it is, but the pain that I'm in every day is, is immeasurable because air talking hurts, air hurts eating. I can't eat on this side. And if I eat on this side, the shards get it. It's just, I'm, I'm a big mess all around. So Moving back around to my stomach issues. Um, so I finally went in to get a scan and to see, I finally got a doctor is more what I should say. Finally got a doctor, went in to get a scan, trying to find out what is going on with me. And in the scan, they said that, um, my lining was really thick, like way thicker than it should have been for my, my cycle and my age. And, um, they have a strong feeling that it was, um, precancerous. And so I don't know what exactly is going on. Um, I know that ovarian cancer does run in my family. My mom's mom had it. My mom's mom actually died. I, I don't call her my grandma cause I never knew her. Um, all I know her as is my mom's mom and it's kind of weird, but my mom's mom died when my mom was six. My mom used to tell me uh, stories about seeing her with her you know, her stomach was super distended and she was in a lot of pain and her dad died like six months later. So she was actually an orphan before she was even eight years old. Um, and then my mom had it as well. She had a hysterectomy and that's looking like it's in the cards for me as well. Um, I don't know exactly what's wrong with me yet. I went to an appointment today and she still couldn't give me any answers. She just said that there's there's fluid in my abdomen and then there's cysts because I've got PCOS and, um, there's, she said there's lots of follicles. So I have a lot of eggs, um, but they don't know what's wrong with my insides, why I haven't been able to keep a pregnancy and why I 
how these period pains and why it's getting worse and all this stuff. So I'm actually going to have to have surgery. I don't know when yet. I'm still waiting for the phone call. I just got back from the appointment and I sat down and made this, but, um, I'm waiting for a call, going to book in surgery, and then they're going to go into my stomach. They're going to look at my other tube and see if it's blocked or what condition it's in. Um, see how bad my scarring is from when I lost my right tube when I had my topic and scrape out whatever they see in there, try to clean me up a bit and then send that tissue in for um, testing to see if it's cancerous or not. And then I'll probably get my answers. And then from there, um, it's either we go down the path of trying to have a baby or trying to get a hysterectomy. So I told her the end result is probably gonna be me just having everything taken out because I'm worried because of my age. If you're watching this for the first time, I am 45 years old. I feel like that's probably a bit too old to safely carry a baby at this point. Um, plus I'm diabetic and then my other health issues. Um, I don't think at this stage it will ever happen. And I'm in so much pain. I can't take it anymore. But I would like some answers first before I go down that route. Because once I get everything taken out, there's no going back from it. So... I'm going to find out what is going on with me first and see just if I've got cancer, if I'm precancerous, if, I don't know, if there's anything going on that can be done aside from taking that huge drastic step, even though there probably isn't. And yeah, um, that's about where I stand. Um, I have been a bit worried because to you watching, I mean, I probably look the same or fatter, but in real life, I had inexplicably dropped weight. And while that's a cause for me to celebrate, the fact that I haven't started exercising, haven't changed my eating habits, haven't done anything, and I had dropped almost 20 pounds was a bit worrying because, you know, quick and unexplained weight loss is always something to worry about. And I didn't do anything. And I was like, yeah, I lost weight. And then I'm like, but I didn't do anything, you know, um, and I don't know. It's when I was younger and really, really stupid. Um, I used to wish like, God, I wish I had cancer or something. I wish I was anorexic just so I could lose weight because I always felt so bad about being overweight and fat. I wanted, I, I didn't care about the risks. I was like, I, I'll do anything anything to lose weight. I don't care if it means I'm going to die. Just, I want to lose weight. Um, losing weight meant more to me than my own health or my own life or anything. But I, I never, I was never anorexic, never had an eating disorder. I just, you know, got fatter, I guess, but I never ate a lot. I just don't exercise. I don't move. Um, I don't know. I've, I've never been a fan of being active mm -hmm. in my entire life. And, um, they just caught up with me, I guess. But anywho, I don't want to go off on a tangent there, but, um, seeing weight drop off for no reason first made me happy. And then it made me concerned. And then going and getting these test results and then finding out that I might have cancer, like really kind of, I'm not even sure what to think at this moment. And I, I kind of feel like numb, I guess. So even if I was told, yes, you've got cancer, I don't even know how I would react to it or how I would feel. I think I'd just be like, Hmm. Well, that sucks. I, I, I can't process things like that. I always felt like nothing really serious could happen to me and I don't know how to react to it. If that makes sense. Um, but the surgery that's coming up will help me help me figure out what's going on and at least give me some answers to what's happening in here, what my insides look like, uh, get some of this stuff scraped away and hopefully ease my pain a little bit because I can't get any pain medication. They're so tight on it and the regular pills, they don't help. I, I take Tylenol and, um, Aleve and ibuprofen altogether doesn't do anything, and 
I've been able to get my hands on a little bit of uh, Tylenol 3 and Norco and only those five together when my pain is at its worst, only those five together have helped just take the edge off and I can still feel it, but it lets me get up and, you know, walk and do the things I need to do because I mean, I have crawled, tried to crawl up the stairs to go to the bathroom. I've rolled around in bed in pain and just like, it hurts. It hurts so much. And no matter what I do, I just can't get away from it. I just want to rip my body into pieces and just run away from my own skin sometimes. And that's not normal. And then right now, I mean, we need, we need jobs so bad. And like, how am I supposed to be able to hold a job when once a month for a week, I feel like this, nobody's going to just let me take a month or take a week off every month so I could be in agony and peace. You know, I mean, it's just not going to happen. And it's, it's really hurt me. It's hurt me when I've looked for work or had a job. I don't even know how I managed at um, ADT when I worked because I didn't miss for it. But I think I, I think I had leftover, leftover Norgos at the time from having my teeth out. And I think I just saved them. I suffered from the teeth pain and I just took them from my period. I think that's what happened. But um, I don't know. It's really no way to live. And I mean, at this point, I really do need some answers. Nobody in my entire life no doctors have ever helped me get an answer so it's about time it's overdue so I will keep you guys updated I will probably make a video and update you after my actual surgery say hey I'm still alive and then as I find out I'll let you guys know and until then take care and I'll be back I'm trying to post more videos more often so I'm posting here and there now that I've got like a setup I didn't put my backdrop today because I didn't feel like it just got home um, but I've got like a little setup and so it's more comfortable to make videos now. And so I'll probably try to put some more out there here and there. And, um, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys later. I'm wrapping up the bones coffee review. So hopefully as soon as I do the last three or four bags of the lot, I will have that uploaded too. And yeah. <laughs>